Welcome back to our weekly update. I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and I'm here to give you a quick look at our top stories for the week. The gold price was relatively steady this week, pushing briefly past the 1800 per ounce mark midway through the period before falling back. The yellow metal was around 1790 at the time of this recording on August 11th. In focus this week was the latest US inflation data, which shows that the consumer price index was flat month on month in July after rising 1.3% in June. It was up 8.5% year on year compared to June's 9.1% increase. What's more, the producer price index, which looks at prices for final demand products, fell 0.5% from June, marking its first month-on-month -month decrease since April 2020. Eyes are now turning to the U.S. Federal Reserve's September meeting, with market watchers wondering whether it will hike rates by 50 or 75 basis points. Moving on from gold, let's take a look at the uranium sector, where uranium energy and Denison mines are engaged in a bidding war for UEX. To recap, in mid-June, UEC announced plans to acquire UEX in a deal that it said would create the largest diversified North America-focused uranium company. Denison then put in a competing bid on July 28th. That offer from Denison ultimately expired, and UEX and UEC shared an amended agreement on August 8th. It seemed like that might be the end of the saga, but the very next day, Denison made another proposal to acquire UEX. UEX considers the new Denison proposal superior to UEC's latest offer, meaning that UEC has five business days from August 9th to respond. We're recording on the afternoon of August 11th, so it's very possible that by the time we publish this video, the situation will have developed even further. As it stands under the new Denison offer, UEX shareholders would receive 0.32 Denison shares in exchange for each UEX share held. According to Denison, that's an implied purchase price of 51 cents per UEX share on a spot basis as of the market close on August 8th. With the battle for UEX in focus, we asked our Twitter followers this week if they expect to see more M&A in the uranium sector moving forward. The poll was ongoing at the time of this recording, but the vast majority of respondents said yes. We'll be asking another question on Twitter next week, so make sure to follow us and share your thoughts. We'll also keep you posted on which company comes out on top in the competition for UEX. That's all for this week. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss future updates and interviews. You can also follow us on social media or click below for our free report or any article mentioned in this video. We'll see you next time.